Here we go again. Yo, welcome back. Let's call this the Wells PDW ARP Part 2. So basically, after sleeping on it, I realized this slot is seated closer to one end, making it the rear. So, all we have to do is put the piston head and nozzle at that end, your piston this end, and basically you've got air pressure. If you can hear that, I'm pretty sure you can. But that was it really. And then uh, the gears were shimmed horribly, so I've taken all of them out. I can see exactly why he shimmed it the way he did. Because his bushes are falling out of the gearbox shell, which is horrendous, basically. So, because they're only bushes, your gears are running on the inside of those bushes, so I've glued the bushes into the gearbox shell. And, uh, that's basically it. So, I'm going to start reassembling it. I'm going to throw this uh, bad boy in here. If you haven't done it before, when you put the piston in, which is this part, always make sure your ladder is facing down towards your gears because otherwise it will not work. Because obviously your gears are pulling that back and then the spring's pushing it back to give you air pressure. And then pretty much for shimming the gears, I don't, I personally don't believe you need many shims at all. So for your flat gear, which is this one here, let's call that gear one. I would recommend like a 0.1 millimeter shim. And you've also got to make sure you have this spacer. It's a bigger spacer, if that focuses. Oh. Ah! I don't know, is that focusing? Oh my God. I'll leave this in the video anyway. Anyway. Anyway, so we put that gear in here. So that gear goes in here. It's gear one. Gear two basically has a little uh, pin which is pulling back your bridge or your, what do they call this thing? I can't remember, it's got two names. I just call it a, uh, a nylon bridge because it's basically just a bridge that gets pulled back. And then this gear also has a little, a very tiny little spacer as well. I don't know if you can see that. But it just goes straight into the middle. And then for this one, I would recommend, it, it really doesn't need much. I usually like to just put a 0.1 millimeter shim in my gear one a 0.5 millimeter shim in this one, which I'm going to call gear two. So let's put that into place. And then we have to put in our anti-reverse latch. Which is this piece with a spring. If you can't see these after this scene, because I'll check, I'll, I'll show you. So, that goes in right there. And then gear three is this little, I don't know what the best way to describe this is, but anyway, that's what it looks like. If it doesn't focus on me, ah! difficulties <laughs> but uh, I would recommend like probably if you've used a 0.1 shim on gear 1 probably a 0.3 gear uh, 0.3 millimeter shim on this gear and then you've got to hold your anti-reverse latch back as you put this gear in alright alright I'm 
luckily enough it's sitting like that and that is basically it so let me show you exactly what I've done right now so we'll cut to see ha! okay my friends here we go so we are looking at gear one gear two gear three anti-reverse latch so when you put this gear in you've got to pull this anti-reverse latch back this way and then put this down and then if it doesn't hold into place what I do is I basically put an allen key through the gearbox shell to hold that down while I put the gearbox shell on which is hard but does the trick and then you've got obviously if you haven't done this before you've got your ladder that's your nylon pull bridge that's your return spring which is connected to the nylon pull bridge that's your and that's your actual nozzle um, and that's basically the gearbox and then obviously your motor which is here pushes in from underneath here and that's what's uh, basically doing all the work so that's turning these gears to pull this back and it's pulling this back at the same time so it's pulling the nozzle back it's pulling the piston back and then as soon as it gets to the end of the ladder which is here your spring is kicking in and pushing it back which is giving you your air pressure right let me put this back up and then we'll continue oh shit here we go again so I'm going to close this gearbox and then basically I'm going to reassemble the PDW ARP. See this is my friend's gun, he told me it was an ARP but then talking to someone else on Instagram he basically told me that wells don't do an ARP so it's got to be the PDW so I'm just going to start calling this the PDW because the truth is I mean you don't really know what you don't know So let's do this thing. Alright, hell yeah. And then like I say in all my other videos, I do not recommend using power tools because <coughs> it's obviously like plastic, nylon, plastic, plastic, English. I don't even talk properly sometimes, I don't know if you've noticed, I've got like a speech impediment. Oh well. But basically you don't want to strip it and just be careful when you do pull your gearbox uh, shell apart because obviously this wire here is just soldered on, it can come, can come off. All right. Sometimes you end up with screws all over the place and you're like, what goes where? Oh shit. But as long as it holds together, I would say it's alright. I mean, if you ask any technician and they tell you they don't have spare screws left over when they put it back together, they're probably lying. But I'm also joking. You should put all your screws back in.
I don't even know what to talk about half the time, to be honest. I just babble shit, really. And I mean, gel blasters are fun, but... I don't know. Like all hobbies, it gets a little tedious, a bit boring from time to time. Just depends what you're into. I've never been one to like do one thing and then that's it. Like I know some guys who get their hobbies and then all of a sudden that's like basically who they are. Like you got the car guy or this guy or that guy. That's not me. I like doing different things. Keeps it interesting. Otherwise life just gets a bit boring. I do go to the gym every day though, but that's different. Gotta keep fit. Makes you happy. Makes you feel good. Right, that is the gearbox. So, see what I mean? One more screw, which I would say goes in. Doesn't go on there. It goes in there. It's not my gun. All right, so let's put this piece back in. I've only done this once before, so I've actually got to try and remember, try and remember how it goes. But if you're watching this for advice, just do what I do and just wing it. Push this in here. Get it in. Oop, there we go. Perfect. Freaking beautiful. Perfect. And we'll put this handle on. So feed your feed your wires through. Blah blah blah. Bam bam bam. Thank you, ma'am. Here we go. Now you've got your four screws you've got to put back in. So just do that. Oh yes. Let me interrupt this to bring you a quick advertisement. So Behind me, you have a CB650R 2019 Honda. If anyone wants to buy it in the Brisbane region, send me a message. My Instagram is dandirian1. It's currently up for 10,600. I will accept 10 or I will accept 12. But that's up to you. If you want to offer me more because you love me, that would be, I would really appreciate it. But otherwise, yeah. And I'm selling it because basically, to be honest, I don't really want to sell it. But I have listed it. What am I doing with my life? I just think the money at this time of my life would be better off invested than just sitting in my garage, getting ridden every now and again. Because while you're young, you gotta try and make bank and make something of yourself you know what I mean like it's hard because like you want to get ahead but at the same time you also want to live your life and the truth is if you actually want to make something of yourself get some money do what you got to do you just gotta make those sacrifices otherwise you end up 30 40 years old with jack shit you end up with nothing I mean, I'm pretty fortunate. I'm 20, uh, 26. I'll be 27 at the end of this year, and I own way too much stuff. I would actually like to downsize. I mean, I'm not a very materialistic person, but um, some people are. I don't know. It makes you feel good, I guess, owning stuff, but at the same time, it's like, it's just things. Anyway, hopefully you saw what I did there. So I've put this bottom on. I've slid the motor in. When you connect it, the motor terminals, there is one painted red, that's for your active. The other one's usually clear, that's for your black, which is your neutral. 
Um, ideally, I'll put it all back together and then I'll test it because just because I, I'm pretty confident this is going to work because I'm not my friend. But yeah. Anyway, put your pin through here. That's the pin. Just push that through. Tap it in. I'm probably a bit too rough, considering all this stuff is plastic parts. <clears throat> all right. I can slide this back on now. So this just slides on, just like so. Just remember I've only done this once before. Just, should just slide on. Right. There we go. Slides on, and then you've got your two pins. One pin has a flat edge on it, basically goes in the front here. Bam, we're done. One pin goes straight in the back. Bam, we're done. Then you can, oh, I would put this on before, but basically you can put this on now and then it just screws on. Feed your, just make sure you don't pinch your cable when you're doing this stuff. And then you screw this back in. That just screws into your spring retainer, basically. But yeah, I would say money is a passion of mine. I mean, I want to be rich, I'm not going to lie. I always have, but at the same time, it's just for what you can do for others. Like, money doesn't really... I don't know. I think it relieves a lot of stress. Everyone says... People like to say money can't buy happiness, but if you're not stressed, you're going on holidays, you don't have to work, I think you feel pretty damn good. So, that's just the truth. Plus, there are a lot of opportunities these days. I mean, people are making an absolute killing off of... Um, Freaking Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, heaps of things. But at the same time, I think if you're going to start something, just do it for fun. Because otherwise, I don't know, if you're not having fun, what's the point? You know what I mean? So that doesn't work. Let me do this. Right, so I'm going to disassemble this again, I'm going to check it, inspect it, fix it, and then basically I'll cut to this actually working, but that's how you reassemble it. That's probably why you should test it before you completely reassemble it. And then I will, like I said, I'll show you this working and then I will probably end the video. Thanks. Okay, so basically what happened is that as soon as it fired, the bushes pulled out of the gearbox shell. <sighs> so the gear is unlocated. So basically I am going to have to do exactly what he did and shim them on the top just to fill the space. And then basically that's it. 
which is a bit dodgy in my opinion, but if your bushes are pulling out like that, it's not going to work. So just do what you got to do, get it to work, and then we're good to go. And here we go. It's fixed. <clears throat> so let's put some gels in the mag. There you go, finally. So, what did we learn here? Don't try and fix your own blasters. Or don't try and upgrade your own blasters. And also, don't listen to me because I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thanks for watching.